I want to find this angle here to get our hip plumb cut so we can use a tangent which is opposite over adjacent. So this is the angle that we want, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. With these figures I can work out what this degree is. This is theta in the Greek alphabet, so it's the tan of theta is equal to the opposite over adjacent. Because it's an irregular hit, there's no real working out for it because we've got two different pitches. With an ordinary hip you can go to your speed square, mile square and it will give you the hip plumb cut. But for this one I've worked it out with a bit of trigonometry. Um, we are going to hold the hip up and show you in place exactly how you can describe it in without the use of trigonometry. That would be my way. <laughs> well, if it's raining, you don't really always want to get an iPad out or a scientific, you can get your phone out, but we've just got this so we can see it a bit easier. Line. That's not 45 this time. So that's about 2455. Five. Oh, just add 18 for that. I'll have to do another chip. Oh. Oh. Um, Cut a temporary hip out of a bit of 6 inch because it's a little bit lighter. Got our 18 degree plumb cut on it, it's not looking too bad. So I think you can see, you know, it's nowhere near 45 running out there where it would normally sort of run, oh, yeah, yeah, run yeah. right out here because because okay. the difference in the whips. We've had to do a little bit of, um, we put the pole plate there to get over this metal so we've now brought the, the, the roof up a little bit more than we wanted to yeah. but we've still got the pitch enough for the tiles, we've got 22 degrees here. So right yeah right, right on the limit cusp, yeah. but that one's go down a little bit but I'm quite happy with that, it's sitting not too bad so I'm going to put a line down so our hips could have come up through here, right through that like that. So it's well missing that corner. So I'm, going to, I'm just going to put that piece of wood there and just draw down it. That's going to be our. You're right, so in the hole. No, no, real good. That's going to go through there like that. So this is our angle through there. Now normally we cut that straight off on the 45. It could be out a little bit. I'm just going to. Just eye that through um, about there. It's quite strange not going through any angle. Now I can measure that off that with a speed square. So that is 38, 52 there then. Yeah. So you've got 52, 38. Um, right, another way though, I'm going to double check. If you didn't want to do all the maths, that is 127 mil, this piece of timber. I just cut it down. So, almost. That, that is the height like above plate. I'm just going to cut that off as well. That should go. How's it fitting? Yes, 
Stick that. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? I'm quite happy with that. It's a bent line rod. That plate is not parallel to that wall. I said, but it's like bloody wheat bit. It's what we're sticking to. It's marginally low. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly cut that top cut. Give that yank up there, please, Aaron. Right, so it's a little bit too long now, isn't it? I've hardly ever put them in. Right, 400, and then back that way. 400. I'm going to go backwards on it, that one, to get it back to square. You're sitting 400, so the raft was outside. If you were calling and go 400, longest point, that's it. There, that's longest point, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so that angle is going to be either 38 or 52. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Right, there. Yeah, what we got? Um, I've got about 16, 18. 16, 18. Right, let's go and cut one. So, that jack rafter is going to be 22 degrees on the plum cut, same as that roof, and then it'll be 38 on the splay cut. Oh, right. Looking alright, Dan, you're getting the hang of that. What? At last, Roger. Yep. 100%. Double racker. Yeah, yeah. Don't trouble that, Roger. If I put that in my nail bag, it drags on the floor. So there we have our irregular hip coming in down now. Luckily enough, the rain's held off, so it wasn't that bad. These jacks don't line up with each other, do they? No, they don't line up. So that one there's 400. Yeah, okay. And that one there's 400. It's because it's a different pitch. Because we've got different pitches, yeah. it, they just don't line up. But where it's quite close, we kept them at 400. I mean, look at that, it's a massive timber for the length of it. Line that up, we'd be talking about a 300 centre. Okay. So we could have done 300 and then uh, yeah, they've just gone in at falls, and that's where they end up. And the other thing is, I'll just say, you did get a big old bird's mouth out of that hip, didn't you? We did get a big bird's mouth. Due to the angle or what? Um, it's, very, it's very low, it's like 18 degrees, um, but it's a big timber, it's nine inches of timber, so you've got a nine inch against the six. So, so once you take a third out of, or so, out of that bird's mouth, um, it's a big bird's mouth. And the other thing is, we've kept the height above plate the same on both sides just so then it meets in the corner because if that was a different height then you'd really probably want to get a straight edge through and i'm not sure where the hip would land it might come round a bit if if you had major so when we set this up we did do height above plate in the plumb fashion these are both the same we've got it meeting on the plate so our height above plate is right on the corner of the plate like a traditional hip if they was different the hip may not meet on that plate corner it might just come round a bit more I'd, I'd have to get lined through and actually try and work it out but say so lucky we've got we was able to set it up the crucial point i've just done some barn ends on site and it's a 35 degree main roof 45 degree on the end but most roofs like this will cut through at 45 
and then we use a chopped saw to cut these at, or skill saw at 45. It's a rat round, it's just obviously a lot narrower here than it is there. It's not unusual, but um, perhaps I've been lucky.